Good morning, folks. Please stay till the end for a website update. We begin with the plasma filament up north. Our primary eruption threat was indeed destabilized by a sunspot surge at its 4 o'clock position, and it released. Luckily, a good bit fell back down to the sun, and the rest shot due north up and away from our planet. We've got a sunspot bonanza right now. The same three active regions as before are the ones magnetically complex. Departing up north, we still have Delta Class, likely what destabilized the filament. Southern incoming umbras are the biggest, with moderate complexity in the middle. Not as much complexity up north, but it has been moving around quite a bit. Now, despite the spots, solar flaring remains low, and while we may get an M flare or two in the next week, our next chance for a major flaring ramp comes when Mercury and Ceres geocentrically conjoin the Sun. This is still about 10 days away. We have a continuing elevation of solar wind telemetry, and even though the northern orientation of the magnetism leaves our shield unfazed, the extra particles block out cosmic rays, as you can see those dropping out there, and it also continues to nudge the high energy protons upward. The northern coronal hole is departing the disk, leaving only the one on the south. We've come out of positive near-Earth influence as this occurs and should stay that way for quite a while. You can see that even the next incoming openings are negatively polarized. If this holds, we'll have major force facing Earth in about two to four days. Top quake note is in the Indian Ocean at the Carlsberg Ridge, where 17 quakes can be seen in this area over the last 30 days, but 11 of them were in the last five days, all in the same location. We call that a swarm. Got an article here from Fizzorg about how Siding Spring may have forever changed the Martian atmosphere and environment. I'll bring up NASA's little Black Friday gag only to ask that you look into Stephen Crothers' work on black holes, or rather their mistakes on black holes. And I'll also recommend you take in the official climate records from NOAA. To briefly summarize the daily records from the last month, it is a slaughter with cold up by more than 400% and as a whole this year, the daily records show an even more unbalanced picture for the United States. Vietnam, under the gun as this typhoon is at the coastline now. Good news for Madagascar as the cyclone will drive southward, still battering those islands. In the US and Canada, we have a lot of moisture coming up to meet an absurdly cold Arctic blast. The top rain watch will be in California where the cold has yet to intrude. Drive safely and take note of the colder conditions in the north. In Europe, we see the southwestern low driving up to the coastline of Spain and France. We've got another low to the east and a solid convergence going up to Iceland. Those are your top alerts tonight. Down under. We'll stick with the precipitable water overlay to show the widespread storm risk as the heat ramps up as we approach southern summer. New Zealand got some wind gust warnings that shouldn't be ignored either. It is Saturday, so our hour-long audio cast for Fly on the Wall will take place today. But also, last night we added our November special video. It is found at the top of the evening news page, Space Radiation and Our Changing Planet. It's probably the best video on site since Starwater and definitely more important. If you're not yet a member, head over to suspiciousobservers.org and click membership. It's $3 per month or get a whole year for only 20. We greatly appreciate your support. Got some shots of our star to close. It's 6 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe everyone.